Hey everyone, uh, Echo here uh, for another video of Echo's Gaming Show. Um, so, uh, we're, we're starting a new thing where we're doing one every other day. I announced that on the last episode, we're going to do one every other day. And sometimes what will happen is I'll upload an episode like today and upload it tomorrow, being today for you guys. But, <clears throat> you know, that's what we're going to go for. And very fortunately, I have... Um, been given a helping hand by a buddy of mine, <clears throat> and I want to give him a shout out. I, again, guys, I do apologize. My allergies are getting killer bad right now, so if I'm coughing and sniffling. Again, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> I try to keep it to a minimum, um, but I've got a helping hand. Uh, basically, I needed some really good thumbnails for my videos, and there's a guy that I know, um, Dynamite uh, Dom Gaming, and you can find him on Twitter at dynamite underscore uh, D, uh, capital D and then games capital G and then uh, lowercase uh, games <clears throat> so find him there um, he's offered to help basically do my thumbnails for the uh, episodes to make them look a little bit better than just like a weird you know screenshot of my face and nothing else so uh, shout out to him for uh, offering up his services and talent um, you know, I love I love collaborating with people on things and really kind of look like constructing a vision with somebody. And uh, so I'm very grateful to have that experience um, with Dom. So uh, thanks again. And again, find him at dynamite underscore uh, D games, capital D, capital G, lowercase a M E S, it looks like. <coughs> so that's that. Um, so first of all, uh, I always forget to, to like say hello and like how are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. I um, hope everyone out there is doing well. I hope everyone is um, in good health and um, are, are getting through their day uh, well enough and uh, are doing good. So um, I'll get right to the news story this time, guys. I don't really have anything on Outriders or on hunting grounds today. Um, <clears throat> so for, I'm going to jump straight to the news story, and this isn't technically a video game story, but it's in the, you know, once you hear what, I, what the story is about and what it is, you'll understand what I'm doing and why this is in here. <clears throat> you know, because the geek realm, you know, the geek, geek realm is pretty, can be pretty wide, you know, you know, pretty big. <clears throat> and so, um, Star Wars uh, news is what we're talking about, basically, so... While not a video game uh, specifically, um, it's it's certainly newsworthy in, in our uh, realm <coughs> of fandom, I would say. So, <clears throat> basically, a brand new animated show uh, is coming uh, soon. It's called The Bad Batch, um, and we now have a release date, which I believe is in May, <coughs> and um, it looks like it's going to continue with some of the clones that were in season seven, I believe, of the Clone Wars. So let's go ahead and read this article. This comes from Inverse, guys. <clears throat> what happens when you, excuse me, what happens when you clone someone wrong? Ever since Obi-Wan mentioned the Clone Wars to Luke and A New Hope, Star Wars fans everywhere have wondered just how rowdy things could get in a never ending space battle involving clone armies. <clears throat> And after seven seasons of The Clone Wars, and the film Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith, in theory, we've finally been told everything we need to know about the Clone Wars galaxy, and the Star Wars galaxy. Then again, maybe not. The newest animated Star Wars TV series, The Bad Batch, promises to finally give us a little bit more variety in the world of clone troopers, which I absolutely adore. The Clone Wars era, if you guys don't know, is my favorite era of the whole Star Wars timeline. <clears throat> it's it's kind of tied with the old Republic stuff, uh, but I love the Clone Wars era. So this is uh, this is big big news for me. Hopefully, some other people out there are Clone Wars nerds like me. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here we go. First introduced in season seven of the Clone Wars, a group of offbeat bad clones are uh, getting their own TV series wedged in between two Star Wars trilogies. Here's everything we know about the Bad Batch so far, including the release date the timeline and the creative team and the possibility of Star Wars cameos. Uh, mild spoilers ahead. <clears throat> it says it's coming out, uh, of course, on Disney Plus on May 4th, 2021. May 4th is, of course, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Uh, so that's a 
very appropriate time for that to come out. It looks like it's going to be a weekly installation on Fridays, much like The Mandalorian was, um, which I'm fine with. I don't. I know a lot of people. Most most of my friends actually don't like <clears throat> the weekly installation stuff. I like it because it gives you the chance. To, I mean, we live in a binging culture, right? So it's like where people are so used to binging. But what the weekly installments do is they give you an opportunity to discuss with your friends about the episode, really soak it in, really kind of um, <clears throat> sponge all that up. And you know, go on the forums and talk about like what what you might think is going to happen next, and all of that. So I actually have liked this return to a weekly based episodes rather than let's just shove you know thirteen or, or ten episodes right at you at once to binge. Uh, I think uh, certain properties are more effective when doing weekly, <clears throat> and I think Star Wars is perfect for a weekly um, weekly show. Um, I'm not going to read the entire article, I just want to give you kind of a general understanding of what we're dealing with here. Uh, I will link this in the video. Uh, this again comes from Inverse, uh, the website, inverse.com. And uh, it, go it goes into a lot of detail on what this is. It gives it shows the trailer, <clears throat> it uh, goes over the plot, it goes over, let's see, where it fits in the timeline, who's writing it. I mean, it really goes, it takes a deep dive into uh, what this is going to be. Uh, but again, I'm a huge fan of the Clone Wars era and the clone, you know, I, I, while <clears throat> Attack of the Clones, the film is the, the best, um, uh, you know, we have seven seasons of uh, animated show, a great animated show dedicated towards the Clone Wars. <clears throat> and, um, you know, that's, to me, some of the best Star Wars content out of everything, and that includes the original films. Some of the best Star Wars content is in the Clone Wars, and it's also in the Old Republic uh, and that comes from, you know, the first Knights of the Republic game to the MMO uh, to the second game. You know, it's all, you know, it's all very, very in, the, in the books, <clears throat> the Legends books, um, you know, all of that to me is, is, is the best of Star Wars. You know, you've got Clone Wars and Old Republic. That's the, that's the top tier cream of the crop as far as I've consumed Star Wars. I haven't consumed every bit of Star Wars. I haven't read every single novel, <clears throat> but I've read a sizable share and, um, you know, I, I certainly I've always digged the Clone Wars era, so this is this is good news. I, I'm excited for this. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to be cool? Do you think it's just more of the same, uh, more of kind of the Clone Wars type stuff with just you know uh, better animation maybe, um, or are you like me and you're very intrigued and and you are already a Clone Wars fan, so you're you're very hungry for this. Uh, this is something that you know <clears throat> once, once something comes out and gets criticism criticism for sometimes is. You know, nobody asked for this, right? So, like, I'm trying to think of something like, for example, like the uh, on the Xbox Connect, they had that Star Wars dance game or whatever. I can't remember the name of it. It was like really awful though, and and they made popular music music uh, you know hits from you know the Billboard Top 100, <clears throat> and, and like did Star Wars puns in them, right? That's a game nobody asked for, right? Like nobody asked for that game. This, I feel like, this is something fans of would. would are, are asking for are or are surprised and happy to hear that they are getting more of what they already like and more content and, and of the characters they already like. So uh, for me as a fan, I'm very excited. Um, but let me know again what you think. Um, give, me, give me the good, the bad, the ugly. What do you think? What's going on here? Um, I've got a lot of high hopes for it. Uh, so you guys just hit me with comments. Ask me questions, guys. Um, I want to have a... Um, question answering section at the, end of each, at the end of each episode. So if you ask questions, guys, I promise I don't have enough followers or subscribers uh, to where I, I won't be able to get through all your questions. So if you do leave a question, I will read it aloud and and, uh, and answer your question on, on the show. So uh, don't be shy, ask questions. I'd love to read them aloud and, and give you guys the best possible answer I can give uh, up in this weird pop culture brain of mine that's probably 80% pop culture and like you know 20% like actual useful stuff that's me but <laughs> it's um but yeah guys uh let me know what you're thinking and as always guys um thanks so much for 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 being here thanks for being around thanks for being an audience thanks for getting me through my difficult times it's been a rough uh it's been a rough go and i really appreciate you guys so uh, remember, guys, if you are a part of the Echo family, you are family, so welcome. And uh, again, another shout-out to the new subscribers. 
uh, of the YouTube channel. I much appreciate that. Don't forget, you can also find me on Twitch, guys. I'll leave that link below. I do, tw I do, um, I do Twitch. I do stream uh, quite frequently, and I stream uh, Predator Hunting Grounds a lot. I've been streaming Outriders, and uh, so lots of streaming there. <clears throat> also follow me on Twitter. That's at umbrella underscore ops. Again, that's at umbrella underscore ops ops. Uh, so you can find me there, and I also post my film reviews there. I also write for a website called killerhorrorcorrect.com where I publish film reviews, and um, you can also check out my content there. So I'll try to make sure to leave all of this in the um, in the description from now on. That way you guys have access to all of that. So uh, with that, guys, uh, thanks so much. Again, a special thanks uh, to Dom for lending his help with the upcoming thumbnails. Much appreciated, man. And uh, with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one.